That way both cameras are synced up. Got it. Okay, cool. And the fun continues here at Making It Fun. I have another victim, I mean guest, for an interview here. Heather's going to tell you all about the rest of her name and her shop. Perfect. My name's Heather Deegan. I'm with Buttons and Bolts Fabric and Quilting Supply. We are in Salem, Wisconsin. Fantastic. So um, we are new to Michael Miller. This would be our first time seeing Michael Miller's fabric. Ooh, I might have another job to do in a little bit. Well, then let me ask you what should be an easy question for me to think of off my head. Sure. What made you stop at the booth? Well, first of all, Rob, oh, you well, know. Now, that wasn't what I was looking for. That was for, obvious. It was you. Am now, I turning red? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, I really do love the colors of the fabrics, the designs of the patterns that they're being used right. in. And we've had customer contact where they're asked, they've asked us, do you carry Michael Miller? And I'm like, great. No. So obviously I need to look into this. Okay, so what do you carry in your shop? What Tell us all about your shop already. So we kind of have a lot of different um, whimsy, more, you know, up. That's why people have been asking for Michael Miller. Michael yeah. Miller was originally known for the whimsy. Yeah. And that's why your guests and, and customers are asking for that. Yeah, yeah. We really don't, we have a little bit of the reproductions, a little bit of the, you know, 30s, sure. but that's not what the main sell is for right. us. We get a lot more of the... Oh, that's really cute. That's something I could use. We've got a lot of blenders, so Great. that's always something that needs to be added in. So we try to keep a few collections around, um, but they sell out so fast. You right. know, somebody will buy them and be like, oh, I'm going to make a kit with that. But then often you have a customer who comes in and they're like, I need to match this particular fabric just as a blender, something that'll work with that. So we like to carry a, a good color wall that has more to offer, and especially in design and what it you know textures you know that was one of my next questions yeah. do you like visual textures do you like physical textures visual, do you, are you definitely. stocking linens are you stocking minky are you stocking right no it's it's definitely the visual, visual. textures yeah right. yeah right. Okay, so something like a fairy frost that's a Michael Miller fabric you may have not seen, but it looks like kind of like shattered ice. And I've seen it when I used to buy fabric for myself. So I, you know, I know that. We all I'm start as hoarders, me. right? Yeah. I had plenty of fairy frost back in the day. Got it. So, yeah, that's... So that's what you're saying. Yes, about. exactly. And a lot of the um, the leaf print that he had right. that went with that. Right. So, yeah, those are some of the fabrics that our customers have been looking for, and I just haven't been able to offer them. Well, very cool. Great. This is exciting. Okay, so um, I'm a strong believer that there's something for everybody in quilting. Did I already ask you and don't remember, are you a pretty bright shop? Are you kind of a mid-tones? You... No, we're definitely in the brights. Um, I wouldn't say modern. Sure, no, I you would, didn't. Yeah, I would just have, <laughs> I, I would listening. say definitely more in the... Um, fun pop the boutiques we have some okay. we do have some but well yeah our basis for our clients seems to be some of the stuff that's just a little more fun and age range variable right. you know it's like this doesn't have to be baby and this doesn't have to be necessarily um you know a grown-up print, the things that you can pull in with various ages in mind. The perfect Peter Pan, right? Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> never too old, never growing no, up. Never want to grow up, exactly. Right. So yeah, so that's pretty good but with, with what we're looking into. Moving towards some new products, some changes within. We did a big remodel back in March, and so we're moving a lot of old stuff out, bringing a lot of new stuff in, and so... Did you add a classroom? Did you add lighting? What was the remodel uh, about? We, we enlarged our classroom. Good job. Um, and we, we kind of opened up our show floor a lot. We took down some, uh, not physical walls, but some items that were blocking visual and condensed things. You know, we used to have our notions just all over the place. Well, now they're in one central location. And, and your customers are reacting oh, real positive? Yeah, yeah, very positive reaction. And it, 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 it brightened up the shop too. It just... Getting the shadowing out of the way. Yeah. And stuff, of mm -hmm, course. Exactly. So yeah. Well, good for you, Heather. That's Thank awesome. You. I appreciate Thank that. You. Now, you may not know that part of seeing here is you're in the hot seat. Okay. Okay. So what we have for the hot seat box of questions All right. so I'm gonna ask you to pull a mystery question and answer it do uh, I have to read it too okay 
Oh, do you prefer sweet or savory foods? Wow. Can they be savory with like a sweet flavor to them? Without um, an, without <laughs> influencing your answer, the last person who pulled that card just said yes. Oh, <laughs> I guess I don't really together. have a sweet tooth. Yeah, she said together. Together, yeah. I mean, like savory if it's got like some pineapple right. to it, you know, or like some other fruity flavors, which I consider sweet. So. Right. I, I guess I'd have to say savory. I don't feel like you like that question much. Would you like another poll? Oh, I get I get another choice. You yeah. certainly can. Why not? I'm making the rules oh, as we go. Right, right. Okay. Oh, favorite guilty pleasure television show. Is this a better oh, question? My goodness. This is ridiculous. Look at her. She's laughing at me. Oh, because she knows the um, answer? The world's okayest so quilter knows yeah, the answer to this? She does because she made me start watching it. Um, I watch Riverdale. <laughs> So does my 14-year-old daughter, by the way, because she thinks the boys are cute. Heather? I don't have anything to do with the boys are cute. She just sucked me into it. It was my employee. I had nothing to do with it. No, so that's probably the guilty pleasure one. I mean, you know, I like the standard. I'm like Game of Thrones, but I'm not watching right now, so don't give away anything. Okay. And uh, Nobody type any comments about Game of Thrones. Yeah, no, I don't need to know. I, no spoilers, please. Um, I, I watch um, Call the Midwife. And I was one. big into Downton Abbey, so I'm waiting for the movie. Yay. Okay. But, yeah, the Riverdale would be the guilty pleasure. <laughs> Perfectly answered. And my daughter Ruby at home will love that yeah, answer as Ruby. well. <laughs> That's great. Well, thank you, Heather. How about a hug? Thank you. Yes. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, thanks Have again. a great afternoon. Well, <laughs> I certainly will. My Thank cheeks you. are starting to get sore, though, from laughing. I know, so I know. It's showing yeah. out. I'm trying to cramp up, I think. <laughs> and I train for this kind of stuff. Oh, wait. I do need a big favor, though. I need you to walk in front of this camera with that shirt, because I just called you the world's okayest quilter. Yeah. You know, yeah, you didn't know, catch that, but I threw, I just threw you under the bus. So they can't think I'm just insulting you. Yeah, no, this is my employee, Leslie. Okay, she here comes Leslie. T-shirts. So. Come here, Leslie. There's where I got the world's okayest quilter. <laughs> she was sitting over there smiling and laughing at Heather and I while we were making, yeah. the, making the magic here happen. So right. I wasn't trying to be insulting. I was trying to be entertaining. Yes. <laughs> right. And somehow those two are such gray area for Rob Appel. <laughs>